skeleton of the world's largest triceratops has arrived in Tampa Bay. Did they you know call that? him Big John, and let me tell you, it definitely lives up to its name. And he's the largest triceratops fossil ever found. First time you lay eyes on something like that, you realize that you're the first human being to ever see this, to ever find it. Incredible to be able to reach back 66 million years ago. And we'll now lend Big John to the Glazer Children's Museum. We wanted to uh, bring something really unique and special, and it's something that helped me get activated in school and interested in science, and that was the you know, number one purpose. One of my personal passions is to help Tampa become the best place for families to live and raise their children. One of the things about uh, dinosaurs are, in my opinion, they're a public good. And when we, when we purchased Big John, it was always with the intention of uh, making it available for the public, and especially making it available for Tampa. Hey guys, how you doing? Are you guys ready and excited to see Big John? Yeah! I believe Sid is a very goal-oriented person. Once he has created a vision, there is nothing that is going to stop him from achieving it. One could have seen a dinosaur and say, what the heck, I can find something here and there. But here is somebody who invested in owning an asset and then making it available to the general public of Tampa Bay. So I believe that that type of foresight, I personally would have never thought of this and did anything like this. And that's what I mean by a differentiator. When I had some conversations with Sid, um, what I was struck with immediately was his looking at this as a way to make sure that families who don't have access, uh, children who don't have access to um, amazing brain building opportunities, have access to this. I hope that as we uh, showcase the Big John exhibit, we can activate you know, tens of thousands of children's interest in science and technology and help them very much like it helped me. In doing this, we've played a small part in making Tampa Bay better. To those here in the audience, I'd love to bring you on to this, this purpose and this mission to make Tampa Bay the best place to live for families and to find a cause here, whether it be the Glazer Children's Museum or any other cause here in Tampa Bay to support the growth and give back to our community.